Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of The MCR Mac and Me. My name is TJ. In this segment, uh, there's been an update uh, a week ago or so. We we talked about a, a shooting on the uh, west side of Detroit. Uh, four people were shot. Uh, two uh, 17-year-old, uh, I don't know if you call them women, teens, young people, whatever, but uh, two 17-year-old women uh, got into a fight, and uh, one got the better of the other. And the one that came out with the losing uh, end of the stick had to, I don't know if this guy was her boyfriend, but, you know, she had to call her male friend, and uh, he had to come over and uh, put uh, some caps in an ass, literally, from what I found out here. Uh, and uh, three innocent bystanders, the result was uh, three innocent bystanders were also struck, two of them children. Okay. And uh, some updates, some clarification. Uh, they caught the guy. Okay. Mm. Which surprised me a little bit because I didn't think, I didn't think they were going to, I didn't think they were going to catch the guy. Well, I got to wonder, did they, did they take the opportunity to take him to the range and, and show him how to f- use a firearm? His gangsta ass? Uh, no, but, but, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about a 17 year old with a handgun. And as you know, uh, that in itself is a crime, Yes, you know? Uh, so here we go. Uh, if you recall, I was telling you how it was a six and three year old. Well, the three year old might've been closer to two year old, two years old, uh, because when when I was reading the news report, they said uh, there there were there it was an odd line in that closer to two years old. Okay, uh, so uh, a six and two or three year old, or maybe a two and a half, or however you want to call it, you know, uh, toddler. The, uh, yeah, the uh, uh, oh, you know what? I uh, and let me correct something here. I said seventeen year old women. It was. Uh, it appears to have been two eighteen-year-old women. Okay. All right, so they're so they're adults. All right. Legally. Uh, the. Uh, <clears throat> it appears that the one involved in the fight got shot in the head. Oh, jeez. Uh, the and then the other innocent bystander, eighteen-year-old woman, she got shot in the back. The six-year-old was shot in the leg, and the two-year-old was shot in the butt. Uh. <laughs> That's uh, and you know not that that, I'm not and, laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because it's so damn absurd. They did, like I said, they did catch this 17 year old male, and they said he fired multiple times. So he may have fired more than four shots. Okay. Well, I, he, when you shoot four people, I assume you fired more than. No need to mention the guy's name, but they're going to. Uh, he's charged with four counts of assault with intent to commit murder. Four counts of assault with intent to commit uh, to do great bodily harm. One count of carrying a weapon with unlawful intent. And one count of carrying a concealed weapon. And nine counts of a felony firearm. Uh, and they are, ch- even though he's 17, they are charging him as, a, as an adult. Which, so, which and- raises a question in my mind. Now, recently we had a... a, a I'll say young man, piece of shit in Michigan, go to Oxford High School and shoot it up. And his parents were found to be somewhat at fault and were criminally charged as well. Now, now is this young man's parents going to be charged? I wonder. My guess is no. You know, it's interesting you brought that up because when we first talked about this a week ago, I kind of wanted to bring it up and I said, ah, the heck with it, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I, so here you are bringing up something I was already debating about, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, and, and you know what? How did he even get the gun? The, the odds are that thing was, the odds are that was an illegal firearm to begin with. In other words, it could have been, you know what? They're not giving any details, but wherever that gun came from, that, that had to be a hot gun. 
Well, you know? we know he didn't get it legally. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's for doggone sure. You know, uh, so, you know, and here's the thing. Oh, oh, and I forgot. I almost forgot the two and six year old. I'm wondering if maybe they might have been accompanied by that other 18 year old woman, you know, just uh, because they were probably in close proximity to her at the time of the shooting. Okay, but whether whether they were or weren't, weren't, this shooting occurred at almost 9 p.m. So you got you got a six and two year old running around a park at almost nine o'clock at night. I don't know. I, maybe I'm just living too much in the old days or something. You know, I I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a head scratcher. Yep. So, you know, I was just I I just wanted to kind kind of revisit something that we reported on. Uh, there was a clarification of a couple details. The three year old might have been closer to two years old, uh, running around a park at nine p.m. and they caught the guy. Bravo, you know. You know, I'll give Detroit this much credit. I'm surprised they're charging him as an adult. Uh, I mean, if this had been New York City or, or or L.A. or something, I'm not so sure he'd be getting charged with much of anything. Well, he'd have been, he'd have been out on bail for sure. Oh, for sure, for sure. So I, you know, in in this regard, I would I would say, you know, this is probably something that sets Detroit apart from all the, all the other. All the other, uh, so that, that that's all I got for this one. We can call this one a wrap. And uh, thanks everyone for your support. We'll catch you in the next segment. As always, be safe. Watch your six, and don't tread on me. <laughs>